All right, the ladies and gentlemen, John Sweepy here, bringing you part nine of the monochrome mapping project. And today we will be visiting a brand new mapper as we skip to map. Oh, I nearly knew we skipped to map eight there, but thankfully we skipped to map nine. This is coagulation. Ow. And I can't waste any time taking a break because the imp has started the level. Anyway, this level is done by the mapper known as Membrane. Someone new for a change after doing several maps by uh, Jaws in Space and Fratchel. Seems like they're doing a good job of. Then we've got a bit of a stealth entry. Hmm. Screw it, let's get the level started. More messing around. Got the shotgun over there. Bit of an interesting looking map already, and. Only one other where we've started off with having to deal with um, immediate enemy encounters, which is a bit interesting. Get out of the way, please. Thank you. Ah, it's actually killed. Killed this pinky. Save me a waste minute. Had to waste a shot on it. There we go. Almost cleared them out. And you probably already noticed already. There's no music, which is kind of. Odd. I'm not so sure again already if this map can get our way with having no music, but hmm, that looks like a giant crusher trap to me. But I'm definitely liking the style of the map, all this monochromatic stuff, and very really interesting looking. Although it does make these areas look like they Whoa, what the fuck? Where'd that come from? Is that a monkey by shot? Oh, there's a monkey by up there. Gee, that nearly killed me. Need to pay more attention to the actual level. Ah, damn it. Why am I trying to choose the shotgun to snipe these particular guys? I should use the pistol. It's more accurate. Somewhere to where the shotgun was. Ah, alright. Let's get that armor. Quickly. I'm going to need it. Well, at least we know where the exit of the level is. Very handy. Very handy indeed. Oh, there's a chain gun over there, which we don't want to see. There's a shotgun over there, which luckily the Hell Knight is taking care of us. How very convenient for him. And then there's a two guys down there, maybe a few more in, in forts. Maybe we'll go over here and quickly deal with this chain gunner. And maybe the imp will deal with him for me. Very conveniently there. See the Hell Knight doing a bit of infighting. I'm kind of trying to get my bearings at the level a little bit, so I'm letting a bit of infighting take place, but I don't think I'll start clearing them out now, so we'll do you away. Kill these spectres. We got this Hell Knight over here to start clearing up the mess pretty much. Well, keep in mind there's quite a few uh, angles here to deal with. Off the pistol. Always a good tactic, as I might have mentioned in a previous video, is uh, if you shoot a shotgun at an imp, say, and you uh, don't kill him straight away and you can spare the time, try and finish him off with the pistol instead of unleashing another shotgun bullet at it. It saves ammo. Or, you know, use the chain gun to finish it off if you have that. Can save you a bit of ammo. Right there, you see, I missed the imp, and I could waste another shotgun blast, but. Let's just fire a few pistol blasts at it, and that way we keep the much more devastating shotgun ammo at hand. And of course, also pays to be as close as possible to the enemy in the first place, so that you can actually kill them quicker. That way the shotgun won't. It's not quite as sort of long range a potential as it is, but it's still useful enough. Hmm. This is definitely a sort of an open map, very complex architecture here. Somewhat. Be mindful of these pistol scans. I think. Oh god, there are those fireballs coming in. We need to be very careful. I'm going to deal with the hit scans first, even though they are just pistol guys. Still need to be mindful of the threat they pose. I think actually we'll go up here and get the chain gun. Oh, there's an imp. Won't pick up the armor. Not really necessary at this stage. Hmm. Looks like there's a bit of an open field to the level. Perhaps we can run across? Nope, we can't. And we'll kill that imp. And go across here and pick up some more ammo. Pinky over there can have a few nibbles. Whoa. Yep, and even more coming out the woodwork. There seems to be a sort of open field to the level where anything can happen. Just in mind, I'll probably keep on the move quite a bit. Trying to conserve ammo there more than anything. 
for anything sort of dark area. It's just not be dark, just how are we doing on Monster Cow? Wow, we're already halfway through the Monster Cow. I'm gonna pop a save here. Since we're halfway through, just for time's sake, if nothing else. Why don't you do in that battle well? It's not really that tricky, but it's not bad either. I suppose. Hmm, how are we gonna deal with the Hell Knight? Yeah, I guess we'll have a few chain around with him, maybe polish up the shotgun. Finish off with the chain rounds. Thank you, and down you go. Looks like I'm going to scavenge around for a bit of ammo though. Ooh, some health here. Oh, there's a caca demon. There's also only one secret, which I forgot to mention earlier. And something of interest of note, as of the time of this video, oh, this is more of a personal thing than actually anything of interest to anyone, um, I'm actually close to getting 400 subscribers, according to my channel. As of the time of this video, I have 399 people. Whoa. Now this is a bit different. So, I was kind of wondering if people wanted to see a 400 subscriber special or not. Oh man, we're running dangerously well on ammo. We'll have to come back. I don't. I, I really want to pick up some ammo around here. So I'm wondering if people do actually want to see a, a, free, a 400 subscriber special or not, or whether you're just happy for me to carry on. Because I was originally going to save it for the um, uh, 500 mark, but eh, it's taken a while to get to 400. I might celebrate it with a video of some sort. Let me know if you're interested in seeing any such thing or not. Ah, now here we go. This is more like my avenue shotgun ammo. Hmm. Can you deal with this manky by? Yeah, wait a minute. You burned us earlier. Oh, great. I'm going to have a revenant now. Great. What is it with revenants and manky by in this level? Always purring up so nice with these levels. No, you don't. Please die. Horribly. Oh, man. I'm not getting a lot of breathing space on here. Ah. Can you please just die? Cheers. Thank you for that. And there's a whole bunch around there. Pretty... Yes, Hell Knights, do some infighting, please. I'm a bit low on the old ammo count. Which is a little bit worrying, although there are some shotgun shells here. Oh, again? I'm getting real sick of that shotgun not penetrating these imps. There we go. Much better. I kind of like how there's a sudden... Suddenly after all this sort of grey and black and white, there's a sudden shift of sort of a greenish colour. That comes kind of nice. Alright, we're gonna go away, you stupid imp. And you. Ooh, what's going across here? Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any particular direction you have to go. Just go where you want kind of thing. Wait, if you want to go over here, you can do. If you want to go over here, you can do. Kind of like the open-endedness of the level, is what I'm trying to say. Although I should just... Okay, I did not actually know that was a switch. I just kind of thought the wall would lower down, but it appears that we have triggered something. Perhaps that's a secret. Perhaps it is. Hmm, can't do anything around here. So, there's that, <laughs> to say the least. So what, what does co what does co-regulation mean anyway? I don't actually know what it means, and I haven't actually bothered to look it up. If I'm telling the truth, oh, it seems to have triggered some more hell knights to appear. To open the door down below, I guess. What does that actually mean, though? What if anyone know? Oh God, I got really lucky there. I was to I did not know about that monkey by shot. I totally focused on the hell knight. <laughs> so that's kind of the look of the spread, and as you can see, the. Uh, Hell Knight over there is having a little win fight with a monkey by and dispatches him as such, which is good. Well, I'm out of infighting in this level. So thus far, I think it did open this door. Yeah, I think it opened this door. Or else I just didn't go through this door earlier. There's really a sort of open feel to this, like, there's no really specific direction I feel I should be going. It just kind of feels like, go here if you want to, go here if you want to, go here if you want to. You know what, I'll let the Cacodemon float over there. I'm going to head back to that other area. I'll come back here in a minute. To deal with yet another Hell Knight. Where are you guys coming from? I thought there was any particular good strategy to alternating your... Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was going to be the secret, but it's not. Hold on a second. 
Um, I just had a thought, actually. Um, am I in a new area? I'm a bit. I've suddenly become a bit confused with the map. This area was, it seems. Yeah, it seems like the area has ex has opened up a bit. Although I could be completely wrong. I I I'm suddenly a little disoriented with the map. Oh no, it's just me. It's just me. My bad. I think. Or were these? Ah, I'll have to watch this afterwards. But it feels like the map has changed its layout slightly since pressing that switch. Or is that just me? It just feels that way. Uh, I wonder if we can. Okay, yeah, I saw a change that time. Okay, I can only assume these switches are adjusting the level, like kind of like the lifts in uh, the last level, uh, Tezel dose. But I wonder if coagulation is some kind of architectural term then with this in mind. Like, is it the raising of platforms or some shit? Just, just guessing at this point. Hit me there. What the fuck? Is there a shotgun over there I'm not seeing? Ah, go down, Kaiko Demon. Ah, something is sniping me. What the hell? Some long range. Hmm, we have to get up there, by the way, because that's our current aim, but. Yeah, the way, the way out of the level was definitely cha Oh man, now we. Okay, they are. It has definitely changed the level way. Oh my god, no! 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 You don't do. I hate you. When the fucking map has put revenants like this. It's just annoying. Oh, this is only two of them. We could probably use the vertical thing to. Avoid the homing rockets, maybe. Maybe we'll be quickly. Ow, ow. So then we're taking lots of damage. One disadvantage of revenant rockets is that if they're fired from a downwards angle, they will eventually hit the floor. For fuck's sake. I hate revenants. Go away. You're annoying me. I'm trying to deal with my nemesis. Thank you. Nemesis eliminated. Good. Yeah, now this now the layout's changed again. These this area has been blocked off. The level is which are we changing as you press those two switches, which is kind of a interesting little uh, interconnectivity there of sorts. Hmm. Doesn't mean you have to walk, run across this previously accessible gap. There's the cacodemon. Oh, we only dealt with one chain gun. Or is it a different cacodemon? I don't know. Oh, I Oh, we got a damn arachnatron to deal with now. Oh wait, no, we have two arachnatrons. And a frigging pinky. Alright, we're gonna have to... Oh shit, I... The two... Go away. Let's get out the angle of that chain gunner. Go down, please. And then we'll use a bit of a height advantage. Sometimes, um... You can actually sort of... Sometimes projectiles will fire down at an angle where they'll hit the corner of the uh, map instead of... Like here, for instance, I have a slight advantage over that chain gunner. It's because, for some reason, the corners, the very edges of some of the um, the maps, of the landscapes of the maps in general kind of thing, it's what's, it's what's called corner abusing, basically. So here we're going to run across. And now I have a bit of a problem. How are we going to get back? Keeping in mind it, so uh, can we just run back? Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's a platform off to the side. Phew! I thought we were gonna have to die down there. Ah, oh, some shotgun ammo over there, which I really want to get now. Oh well. At least we have the super shotgun, which is. Hmm. Thought it might be a clue to the secret, which we haven't discovered quite yet. Hmm. Oh, what? Arch vial. Oh no, you don't, chick. Damn you. I always like to wait until they cast because archvowels are a bit of a pain in the ass in terms of moving around. Hmm. Oh, that's the only one. Looks like it is. Good. I don't wanna, didn't want to deal with too many of those. So yeah, it seems the major architectural gimmick of the level is everything moves around when you press those two very disguised switches. Hmm. And that's about it. <laughs> Which is a nice effect. I'll give membrane props for that. 
Uh, looks like we're now going to cross this area, which was previously not as high up. I assume this is so we can get over to this side. Yes. Very nice uh, flow to the level. Oh, man. Ah, right, good. Hopefully those chain gunners pissed off the wrong... Yes! Good, Arachnotron. Piss off the... Excellent. It's an ideal situation. Arachnotron is going to completely destroy that chain gunner. And I'm going to completely destroy it. Joys of monster infighting. Indeed. And I'm going to save here. I do hear some rockets, but I don't know where they're from. Oh, there's some more evidence over there. Not great. Yet more evidence to deal with. Oh well, plenty of shotgun ammo. Super shotgun the shit out of those dudes. Hmm, looks like we're gonna have to super shotgun these dudes as well. Ow. So I have to say overall, this level is um it's it's okay overall I feel. I, I like the I like the idea of the level sort of changing its sort of symmetry and texture based on these switches, which is a nice touch, but the rest of it just kinda feels average and alright I guess. But it's more it's uh, I don't really want to sort of compare mappers, that's kinda harsh to say like, oh this is kinda like as mare as Jaws and Spaces maps because there's a different theme and a different feel and it's a bit unfair. It's in my opinion. Um but I just feel like kind of just a an okay map to, it's I think there's been a comment about this, you know, where some of the mappers have been saying, like, this is more about an experimentation of map design and um, map ideas around minimal textures, rather than necessarily making levels that are always super awesome, mega crazy good. So in other words, don't be surprised if some of the levels are, like, just kind of distinctly average, but are creatively interesting. I think that's what they've been trying to sort of argue. Also, is that a pain sector now? Oh, it's always a pain sector. It's like it's always been a pain sector, I think. A couple of annoying... Only five enemies to go. Stupid Baron. I think the pain sector doesn't affect the enemies, too. They're, they are always immune to it. Which means some people can probably make some real bastard traps where they have enemies in the pain sector. And they do. So now we're finally going to the exits. I want to deal with these revenants first. Also, I want to see if I can have a real attempt to find the secret, if possible. Just a quick little search, I guess, wouldn't hurt. So this is the idea of corner views. I mean, you can literally just wet the rocket guy into the corner like that. Except that you can also use it with enemies that don't fire um, homing projectiles as well. So it's basically like, at some point, the fireball will actually hit the corner and not actually hit, well, you, for instance. So you can abuse that. A bit. Ah, full health. Ah, I've killed all the enemies, but where or oh, where is that secret? Hmm. Got some ammo over here, some shotgun shells. Can't think where that secret might be, though. Uh. Actually, I do have one idea where it might be. Let's see if we can find the secret real quick. I'm not going to spend a massive amount of time, because I know this is obviously a bit boring, but... I'll see if I can quickly find it. I think I have a good idea where it will be located, actually, if it was to be anywhere. Uh, the problem is I need to get back over there. <laughs> I think I've kind of gone the wrong way about this. Is that it? Nope. That's not it. I need to get over here somehow. Ah, oh, damn it. I need to get back over there. Because, yeah, that was an accessible area before. Now I have to go all this long way around just to get back to it again, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Got some uh, shotgun bullets over here. Look around. Let's quickly roll through there. Don't think there's anything. But no, that's, that's in the wrong, completely the wrong direction to head. Don't want to go there whatsoever, really. Don't think there's any. Hmm. Nah, it's not a secret. I thought it might be, because it kind of jutted out from the pain sector, but my suspicion is that one of these areas is the secret, and we'll just open up. And what do you know? It, I was correct. Hooray, I found the secret. Now we can, like, get out of here. 
soon as we figure out how to do that <laughs> very quickly. Another thing I've really enjoyed about doing this uh, mapping project is not just that I've been promoting this ward for people, which I do recommend trying this out. Um, I've given links to this in the past. I recommend trying this. It's a very interesting ward that uh, I recommend. But I also like in the fact that the mappers themselves are providing feedback on their own maps as I let's play them. The likes of Jaws in Space and Fractal XX provide some interesting insights onto their creations. Anyway, let's end the level. And that was Coagulation by Membrane, and my third perfect map, although technically Tesseldose kind of was, well, Tesseldose I guess doesn't really count because you didn't have to sign any secrets and all the items were given to you. So I'm going to probably count this as my second map where I've actually managed to find everything, including the secret. Oh, and I've just noticed, is that a part time? Is this the first um, map to include a part-time, or am I just not been paying attention to the part-times in any of the previous videos? Apparently you can do it level in 8 minutes, according to Membrane. I did it in 20 and a half minutes. Overall, it, was, it wasn't a bad map. Uh, I think some music would have helped, much like with some of Jaws and Spaces maps. It didn't have the atmosphere where silence was an option for me, but I like the mapping idea of the level changing its way out as you flick the switches and things raise and force the player to head in different directions and how that sort of led the player to exactly where you want him to go. The gameplay was okay, a bit on the average side, the visuals were alright, felt like a very monochromatic map, but I think it was a technically interesting map with the switches and it was an okay contribution. Not bad, not good, just kind of in between and at least enjoyable while it lasted. Alright, so let's see what's up for next time. And next time we are on Mono Asbest with music. So, what did you all think of Coagulation? Did you think Membrane's contribution was better than I thought? Worse than I thought? Or did you agree it was the same? And what do you think will happen next time on Mono Asbest? And also, what do you, do you think I should do a 400 subscriber special if I ever achieve that in the near future? Let me know all your comments below. Hopefully Membrane will also comment as well, that would be nice. And I'll catch you all next time for map 10 of the Monochrome Mapping Project. See you next time, Doomers. <laughs>